Have you ever bitten into a perfectly crisp, juicy apple and wondered where it came from? Did it journey across the ocean or grow right in your own backyard? Among these are finding and retaining seasonal labour, ensuring consistent pollination, guaranteeing quality in picking and packing, and safeguarding traceability. The United States and China are two of the world's biggest apple producers. If, like some Americans, you're headed to the apple orchard this autumn, you might want to know about the popularity of what you're picking. But how do their farming practices actually differ? Who's leading the way in modern apple harvesting? Is it all about high-tech gadgets and robots, or is there more to the story? We're using vacuum in a unique way to, um, to get apples off of trees and then uh, you know, make sure that as we... Join us today as we delve into USA versus China, which apple harvesting farm is more advanced. When it comes to harvesting apples, the United States and China employ vastly different approaches. In the United States, apple harvesting is predominantly mechanized. It'll go into the canopy and pick the apple with the suction cup and then return. Large-scale orchards rely on specialized machines to efficiently gather the ripe fruit. These machines come in various forms. One method utilized is shaking machines. These massive tractor-mounted contraptions feature large arms that clamp onto the tree trunk. Once secured, the machine delivers a powerful shaking motion, causing ripe apples to detach and fall onto conveyor belts below. This method boasts remarkable speed, enabling rapid harvesting of large orchards. These machines utilize large canvas catching surfaces positioned beneath the trees. As the apples fall from the shaking, the bin catchers collect them, minimizing damage and fruit bruising. Another mechanized approach is selective harvesters. These newer, more sophisticated machines are designed for gentler harvesting. They utilize advanced technology, such as cameras and sensors, to identify ripe apples on the tree. Subsequently, the machine employs suction devices or robotic arms to selectively pick only the desired fruit. This method minimizes fruit damage and allows for picking based on specific ripeness levels. Mechanization offers numerous advantages in apple harvesting, foremost among them being efficiency. By mechanizing the process, orchards can swiftly gather large quantities of apples within a short time frame. Smaller apples, but sweeter apples. Ensuring timely deliveries to consumers. This rapid pace is particularly crucial for meeting tight deadlines and managing the demands of the market. Furthermore, mechanization reduces reliance on manual labor, leading to significant cost savings, especially in regions like the US where labor costs are comparatively high. With fewer labor requirements, farms can streamline their operations and allocate resources more efficiently. Another notable benefit of mechanization is the reduction in fruit bruising. Modern harvesting machines employ gentle handling techniques such as catching surfaces and selective picking, minimizing damage to the fruit during the harvesting process. As a result, higher quality apples are delivered to consumers, enhancing overall customer satisfaction and market competitiveness. Mm. Despite these advantages, mechanization also comes with its share of disadvantages. One of the primary drawbacks is the high upfront cost associated with purchasing and maintaining specialized harvesting machinery. This investment can be substantial making mechanization a more viable option for larger farms with greater financial resources at their disposal. Moreover, mechanized harvesting may not be suitable for all apple varieties or orchard layouts. 
Certain delicate apple types or orchards with smaller, more closely spaced trees may not be well suited for the use of shaking machines or other mechanized equipment. This limited versatility necessitates careful consideration of the specific needs and characteristics of the orchard before implementing mechanization. Additionally, while mechanized harvesting is efficient, it can result in some fruit loss. Shaking machines, for instance, may cause fruit to detach prematurely or sustain damage during the shaking process. While the overall efficiency gains may offset these losses to some extent, farmers must weigh the potential for fruit loss against the benefits of mechanization. In contrast, China's approach to apple harvesting differs significantly from the mechanized methods favored in the United States. But which apples taste best right now and which ones should you pick later in the season? Traditional handpicking remains prevalent in many Chinese orchards, particularly smaller scale operations. Farmers and workers manually harvest apples by hand, carefully inspecting each fruit for ripeness and quality before plucking it from the tree. Manual labor is significantly cheaper compared to the high upfront costs associated with mechanized harvesting equipment. where workers can selectively choose ripe apples and avoid damaging delicate varieties or smaller trees unsuitable for shaking machines. Furthermore, handpicking offers greater control over fruit selection as workers can meticulously choose only the best quality apples, promoting a higher overall quality in the final harvest. However, manual labor also comes with its disadvantages. Firstly, handpicking is inherently slower than mechanized harvesting which can be a disadvantage for large orchards with tight deadlines. Secondly, reliance on manual labor can be impacted by factors like the availability of workers and fluctuating labor costs. Lastly, handpicking quality can vary depending on the experience and skill level of individual workers. Both the US and China are constantly innovating their harvesting methods in the U.S., the focus is on further refining mechanized harvesting for even greater efficiency and reduced fruit damage. Granny Smith apples, which they have a lot here. Selective harvesters with more advanced fruit selection capabilities are at the forefront of this pursuit. Meanwhile, China, while retaining its reliance on manual labor, is exploring ways to enhance efficiency. Talking about growing and harvesting apples is something I'm very enthusiastic about. This might involve improved training for workers or the utilization of simpler handheld tools to expedite the picking process. Additionally, some larger Chinese farms are starting to pilot mechanized harvesting technologies, potentially integrating them with their existing manual labor force. Transitioning from manual labor to mechanized harvesting is a complex process that requires careful consideration of various factors. While mechanization offers potential benefits in terms of efficiency and scalability, it also presents challenges such as high upfront costs and the need for infrastructure and training. Moreover, the cultural and social implications of transitioning away from manual labor must also be taken into account, particularly in regions where manual labor has been a traditional practice for generations. Favorite fall activity, apple picking. The Labor Day holiday weekend means the opening of that season at many area fruit farms. In order to successfully transition to mechanized harvesting, collaboration between government, industry, and academia is essential. This collaboration can help facilitate research and development efforts, provide financial incentives for adopting mechanized technologies, and support training programs for workers transitioning to new roles. Furthermore, addressing concerns related to labor displacement and socioeconomic impacts is crucial for ensuring a smooth transition. This may involve implementing support programs for displaced workers, promoting job retraining initiatives, and fostering entrepreneurship in related industries.
As we venture deeper into the apple orchards of the USA and China, we look at the integration of integrated uh, pest management programs into now standard orchard production. Our focus shifts to pest and disease management strategies. But amidst the battle against pests, questions arise. How does the USA's integrated pest management IPM compare to China's blend of technology and tradition? And which approach proves most effective in safeguarding apple crops? Let's find out. Apple trees, like all crops, face a constant battle against insects, diseases, and other pests that can wreak havoc on yields and fruit quality. Both the United States and China have developed strategies to combat these threats, but their approaches differ in their philosophy and methods. The United States heavily relies on Integrated Pest Management IPM, for apple orchard pest control, emphasizing proactive measures over reactive responses. Regular monitoring and scouting of orchards are essential, involving thorough inspections for signs of pests and diseases. Techniques range from visual inspections to deploying traps for specific insects. Instead of automatically spraying pesticides, IPM sets action thresholds based on pest population levels or disease presence. This approach minimizes unnecessary pesticide use, preserving beneficial insects crucial for natural pest control. Additionally, IPM promotes diverse control methods, including biological control through natural predators and beneficial microorganisms, cultural practices like pruning for improved orchard health, and selective pesticide use when necessary, minimizing environmental impact. China's pest management approach in apple orchards combines modern technology with traditional methods. Technological advancements such as sensor networks and drone technology enable real-time monitoring of pest activity and targeted pest control measures. Precision spraying techniques, utilizing GPS and automated targeting systems, minimize pesticide waste and environmental impact. Despite embracing high-tech solutions, many Chinese apple growers still incorporate traditional methods. Attractant traps baited with pheromones effectively capture specific pests, reducing their overall population. Some farmers also use natural insecticides derived from plants like neem oil or pyrethrum flowers, offering effective pest control with less environmental harm than synthetic pesticides. Transitioning from the U.S. to China's approach reveals a blend of innovation and tradition. While the U.S. emphasizes proactive monitoring and diverse control methods under Integrated Pest Management IPM, China leverages technology alongside traditional practices to manage orchard pests effectively. This shift underscores the importance of adapting pest management strategies to local contexts and embracing a blend of modern and traditional techniques. However, both approaches face challenges and considerations. In the U.S., reliance on pesticides, even in IPM, raises concerns about environmental impact and pesticide resistance. Similarly, while China's adoption of high-tech solutions shows promise, accessibility and affordability remain barriers for some growers. Additionally, balancing traditional methods with technological advancements requires careful integration to ensure effective pest control without sacrificing environmental sustainability. Both the U.S. and China encounter challenges in managing pests in apple orchards. One significant concern is pesticide resistance, where over-reliance on specific pesticides can render them ineffective against pests. To address this issue, both countries are actively engaged in developing new and diverse control methods. Moreover, the impact of climate change adds another layer of complexity to pest management efforts. Changes in temperature and precipitation patterns can influence pest populations and disease outbreaks.
Consequently, researchers in both the US and China are studying the effects of climate change and developing adaptation strategies to mitigate its impact on apple orchards. But as we marvel at the advancements, we're left pondering, how does the US's precision agriculture for water conservation differ from China's modernization of traditional methods? And which approach holds the key to maximizing efficiency and sustainability? Join us as we delve into the world of irrigation systems and apple farming. The United States and China are the world's leading apple producers, each employing distinct cultivation techniques. While the U.S. leans heavily on precision agriculture, China is modernizing its traditional methods. American apple farms prioritize efficiency and water conservation through a suite of advanced irrigation technologies. These methods work together seamlessly to maximize resource efficiency and enhance overall productivity. Drip irrigation, for instance, delivers water directly to the root zone of each tree through a network of tubes and emitters. By bypassing the soil surface, this method minimizes water waste by eliminating evaporation and ensures targeted delivery to where the plant needs it most. This precision in water application is further enhanced by soil moisture sensors, electronic devices that continuously monitor moisture levels in the soil. By sending real-time data to irrigation controllers, so large-scale vegetable farmers in Naivasha are now turning to drip irrigation systems to ensure sufficient water for their crops. These sensors enable farmers to make precise adjustments to water application, ensuring that trees receive only the amount they need, even as weather conditions fluctuate. In addition to soil moisture sensors, on-farm weather stations play a crucial role in optimizing irrigation practices. These stations collect real-time data on various weather parameters, including wind speed, temperature, and humidity. By leveraging this information, farmers can fine-tune irrigation schedules based on evapotranspiration rates, which is the combined process of evaporation from the soil surface and plant transpiration. This approach helps prevent overwatering during hot, dry periods thereby conserving water resources and promoting more efficient water use. Farmers of Yan'an, successive local governments persisted in turning the humble apple into a big industry. Moreover, many farms have adopted sophisticated irrigation systems equipped with remote monitoring and control capabilities. These systems allow farmers to remotely monitor and adjust water application from their smartphones or computers, providing them with greater flexibility and control over their irrigation operations. By optimizing water application in real time, farmers can maximize efficiency and save valuable time and resources. The benefits of precision agriculture and apple farming are manifold. Firstly, these advanced irrigation technologies contribute to significant water conservation efforts particularly in regions facing water scarcity. By minimizing water waste and optimizing water use, drip irrigation, soil moisture sensors, and weather-based irrigation scheduling help conserve precious water resources, ensuring their sustainable management for future generations. Furthermore, precision agriculture technologies can also lead to increased yields and improved fruit quality, by maintaining optimal moisture levels, these technologies promote healthier tree growth, which can translate into higher apple yields. Consistent moisture delivery throughout the growing season also contributes to better fruit size, color, and overall quality, enhancing the marketability and value of the produce. Additionally, the adoption of precision agriculture practices can result in reduced labor costs for apple farmers. The loss in revenue for Washington apple growers because of these tariffs has been exponential. Automated irrigation systems and remote monitoring capabilities minimize the need for manual labor and irrigation management, freeing up farmers' time and resources for other essential tasks. This increased efficiency and labor utilization not only reduces operational costs, but also enhances overall farm profitability and sustainability. 
Contrastingly, China's traditional apple cultivation methods relying on flood irrigation and canal systems are undergoing a modernization push. Despite its long-standing reliance on traditional practices, China is integrating advancements into its agricultural techniques. For instance, traditional canal networks are being upgraded with materials like concrete to minimize water loss through seepage. Advanced water management techniques are also being introduced to enhance efficiency within these systems. Moreover, while less precise than drip irrigation, sprinkler systems offer a more targeted approach compared to flood irrigation, leading to improved water distribution and reduced waste. Chinese researchers are actively developing and implementing water-saving technologies, such as low-flow emitters and mulching techniques to further conserve water resources. Furthermore, the Chinese government is playing a significant role in promoting water conservation practices. Georgia farmers depend on the ability to irrigate their crops, and with modern irrigation systems, crops get watered in a timely manner and natural resources are conserved. Offering subsidies for adopting efficient irrigation systems and conducting educational programs for farmers. However, China's approach is not without its challenges. Modernizing canal systems and encouraging widespread adoption of new technologies necessitate significant investment and time. Additionally, convincing a large number of farmers to embrace new practices can be challenging. Training and education are crucial for the successful implementation of these modernization efforts. Furthermore, despite advancements, China still faces significant water scarcity challenges. Continued innovation and water management strategies will be necessary to address these issues effectively. Now our journey through the apple orchards leads us to the selection of apple varieties in irrigation systems. But amidst the diversity, questions arise. How do the U.S.'s new apple varieties compare to China's diverse strategies for different regional climates? And which combination of varietal selection and irrigation methods yields the sweetest fruit? Join us as we navigate through the orchards to uncover the secrets of apple farming. When it comes to apples, both the USA and China are major players on the world stage. But how do these countries quench the thirst of their apple trees and ensure a bountiful harvest? American apple growers are renowned for their embrace of cutting-edge technology, particularly evident in their irrigation systems. One such innovation is micro-irrigation, a method that strategically delivers water precisely where it's needed. Whether through drip lines or micro sprinklers strategically positioned near each tree's base, this approach minimizes water waste while maximizing efficiency. Soil moisture sensors further elevate these systems, providing real-time data on soil moisture levels. This enables farmers to irrigate only when necessary, promoting healthy root growth and preventing overwatering. Moreover, the integration of automation and control systems, such as computerized irrigation, has revolutionized water management. By leveraging data from sensors, weather forecasts, and historical water usage patterns, farmers can optimize irrigation schedules, conserving water, and reducing labor costs. In contrast, China's diverse apple growing regions present unique challenges, from arid landscapes in the west to monsoon dependent areas in the east. Traditional methods like flood irrigation, though simple and cost effective, can be wasteful, particularly in regions with limited water resources. However, such methods persist in areas blessed with ample water supplies. Furrow irrigation offers a more water efficient alternative directing water directly to the roots through small channels between tree rows. Yet, it requires meticulous oversight to ensure uniform water distribution. Meanwhile, sprinkler irrigation, akin to systems employed in the U.S., covers the orchard canopy with water. While effective, this method risks water loss through evaporation, especially in hot and windy conditions. Nevertheless, China is not lagging in the technological race. 
With an eye toward efficiency, the country is increasingly adopting water-saving technologies like drip irrigation and micro-sprinkler systems. These innovations offer precise water delivery while minimizing evaporation. Additionally, China is exploring advanced techniques like subsurface drip irrigation, where water is delivered directly below the root zone. By embracing these innovations, Chinese farmers are adapting to their diverse environments and maximizing water efficiency. Transitioning from traditional to high-tech irrigation methods isn't just about embracing new gadgets. It's about improving yields, conserving resources, and ensuring sustainability. For American apple growers, micro-irrigation systems have become a cornerstone of their operations, allowing for precise water management and optimal crop health. Soil moisture sensors provide invaluable insights, empowering farmers to make data-driven decisions and minimize water wastage. Moreover, automation and control systems streamline irrigation processes, reducing labor costs and enhancing overall efficiency. Meanwhile, in China, the transition towards advanced irrigation technologies reflects a commitment to adaptability and resourcefulness. From flood irrigation to innovative drip systems, Chinese farmers are leveraging a diverse toolkit to navigate their varied landscapes. As they embrace water-saving technologies, they're not only increasing efficiency, but also safeguarding precious resources for future generations. As we approach the conclusion of our comparison between the U.S. and China's apple farming practices, the ultimate question looms. Who emerges as the leader in modern apple farming? But as we weigh innovation, sustainability, and productivity, we're left with two burning questions. Which country has made the greatest strides in advancing apple farming techniques? And whose practices pave the way for the future of apple cultivation? Stick with us as we unveil the verdict in the Battle of the Orchards. In the world of apple production, the USA and China stand as titans, each bringing unique strengths and approaches to the table. But in the race for modern apple farming supremacy, who really holds the crown? When evaluating which country is more effective and modern in apple farming, it's important to consider various factors such as innovation, sustainability, productivity, and overall industry practices. In terms of innovation, the USA has a slight edge due to its adoption of cutting-edge technology and advanced farming practices. American farms often lead in the utilization of automated systems, advanced robotics, and precision breeding techniques, which contribute to higher efficiency and better fruit quality. These innovations reflect a forward-thinking approach to apple farming, positioning the USA as a leader in technological advancements within the industry. However, China is rapidly catching up and demonstrates significant strides in modernization, particularly in the adoption of smart orchard management systems and e-commerce integration. While traditional methods are still prevalent in many areas, Chinese farmers are embracing technological advancements to optimize resource use and maximize profits. As China continues to invest in research and development, its approach to apple farming is becoming increasingly modern and effective. In terms of sustainability, both countries face challenges, but the USA has made greater progress in implementing sustainable practices such as high-tech irrigation systems and cover cropping to improve soil health. China has also made efforts to promote organic farming practices and reduce reliance on harmful pesticides, but water scarcity and pollution remain significant concerns that hinder its overall effectiveness in sustainable farming practices. When it comes to productivity, the USA holds an advantage with higher yields per acre, thanks to advanced farming techniques and the use of high-yielding apple varieties. While China boasts the largest overall production volume due to its vast scale of production, its yield per acre is still lower on average compared to the USA. 
However, with continued investment in technology and improved resource management, China has the potential to increase its productivity and close the gap in the future. Overall, while both countries demonstrate strengths and advancements in apple farming, the USA currently holds a slight edge in terms of effectiveness and modernization, particularly in innovation and sustainability practices. However, China's rapid progress and commitment to modernizing its agricultural sector suggest that it may soon rival, if not surpass, the USA in certain aspects of apple farming.